All right, so that is enough of that. I'm going to pass things over to Phil now to do a quick dive into video strategy. He's got some really good information about virtual reality and whether or not it's worth investing in it with your clients. Phil. Thanks, Didi. All right, so I thought we'd just quickly cover um, basically the question of whether or not your clients should jump on the video uh, virtual reality bandwagon. Um, and also, I think it's been like, you know, VR has kind of been toyed around with for maybe a year now, and we've obviously been playing with it probably seriously for about six to nine months. Um, and I think there's been a kind of range of responses. Clients have either gone, oh, this is great, new and shiny thing, we need to do this, or they've gone, this sounds ridiculous, we're not doing it, or they've had a kind of lukewarm response somewhere in between that's been along the lines of, you know, maybe we'll, we'll start to play with this when the early majority have already got there. Um, and so I thought actually it might be worth just looking, you know, trying to really take head on and provide a very simple answer to that question, should this be something your clients need to care about? And so if we move on to the next slide, uh, Didi, we've got, uh, I've put a very simple little table together here that I think answers the question. Um, and I think basically it comes down to whether or not there is something exciting and compelling that you're able to show visually uh, for this particular brand. So VR is obviously a very visual medium. Um, I think it's more visual really than, than oral in that sense. And so if you uh, have something that it would be really interesting to show that privileged view of uh, having, you know, like be pretending to be an individual within that space, um, then it can work really well, otherwise it can't. So, for example, maybe you are a car manufacturing brand. Let's say we're working with BMW. Now, BMW would be a, a great use of VR because, you know, it would be wonderful to be able to go through that factory and maybe experience what it's like to be a car uh, or be in the position of the car while it gets put together with all the complex high-tech equipment. That would be a very interesting thing to watch. Um, or maybe we are Christian Louboutin shoes, um, and they also have an incredibly desirable, exciting product. Uh, it would therefore be wonderful to be able to, um, you know, put a VR, VR headset on or just use your mobile phone and experience what it's like in some of their merchandising outlets, so some of their stores and how beautiful they are. Um, or maybe we have a compelling physical space. Maybe on the slightly less sexy end, we work uh, for a data center and we have an amazing space with all these computers. Or we have a giant warehouse somewhere. Or maybe we have a really, really interesting office space and something unusual in that regard. So, yeah, perhaps... Um, Wissia, or maybe we work for uh, a lumberjacking organization and we can, you know, do some VR of beautiful, um, you know, mountainside uh, vision. So if we can provide something that's really interesting from a visual perspective, that's where VR really comes into its own. Where it doesn't work is unfortunately where I've seen a lot of companies try and get excited about it, and that's, um, you know, with products that are primarily uh, ephemeral or service based. So if you work in the service sector as most of you do, obviously, you work for um, agencies. If you work for an agency, then VR probably is not something useful to you um, because you don't have anything compelling that you can show visually. Your product is your intellect and it's people. And showing just a, a group of people in a room um, with VR is, is not particularly interesting. Same, obviously, with SaaS. You know, with Wistia, we've tried a bit of VR, but really it's only worked for us because we have compelling physical spaces and we can do interesting things in that regard. Most of the VR stuff we've done has, has honestly not been related to our product um, because, you know, trying to make a VR about software doesn't really work. Um, same if you're an affiliate or e-commerce space. You know, you have a very digital business. It's not something that has that visual appeal. So hopefully that's useful and, um, and you can go away and provide some advice to the different kinds of clients that you're working with about whether they should start experimenting with VR. Wonderful. Thanks, Phil.